Module six. Travel. Geographical features. Page sixty one. Waterfall. River. Mountain. Desert. Island. Welcome to our travel quiz. We have Kim and Tom with us today. Let's get started. Which mountain is higher, Kilimanjaro or Mount K2? Yes, Tom. It's Mount K2. That's correct. Mount Kilimanjaro is nineteen thousand three hundred and forty feet high, while K2 is twenty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty-one feet high. Who can tell me what the highest mountain in the world is? Kim, what is your answer? Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. It is twenty-nine thousand thirty-five feet high. That is correct. Let's move on to waterfalls. How high is Niagara Falls? Kim, Niagara Falls is a hundred and sixty-seven feet high. Well done, Kim. Which waterfall is higher? Yosemite Falls or Angel Falls? Yes, Tom. Angel Falls is the highest waterfall in the world. It is three thousand two hundred and twelve feet high. Yes, Tom, you're right. Now let's move on to rivers. Which river is two thousand nine hundred miles long? No one knows. Okay, that would be the Congo River. Which river is longer, the Mississippi River or the Nile River? Yes, Kim. The Nile is longer. It is the longest river in the world. It is four thousand one hundred and thirty-two miles long, while the Mississippi River is two thousand three hundred and fifty miles long. That is correct. Now let's see what you know about deserts. How large is the Kalahari? Kim. The Kalahari is three hundred and sixty thousand square miles. Right again, Kim. Name two deserts that are larger than the Kalahari. Yes, Tom. I believe the Gobi Desert is five hundred thousand square miles, which makes it larger, and the Sahara is definitely larger because it is the largest desert in the world. Yes, Tom, you are correct. Can you tell me how large the Sahara Desert is? Kim, the Sahara is three million three hundred twenty thousand square miles. Correct. Now our last topic is islands. Which is bigger, Sumatra or Madagascar? Tom, Madagascar is bigger than Sumatra. Good work, Tom. Do you know what the largest island in the world is? Kim, the largest island is Madagascar. No, Kim. I'm sorry. Greenland is larger than Madagascar. It's eight hundred and thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine square miles, while Madagascar is only two hundred and twenty-six thousand six hundred and fifty-seven square miles. So that brings us to the end of our quiz. Special thanks to Kim and Tom for joining us today for our geography quiz. And next time we will have the next. Unit six A. Destinations, Exercise Three, Page Sixty Two. Mexico City is the biggest and noisiest city in the world. It's much hotter and more crowded than I expected. The traffic is worse than I imagined, but the people are very friendly. Today I'm going sightseeing. Dear Helen, I'm writing from Australia. 
We're here in a place called Cooper Petty near Adelaide. The name of this place comes from the Aboriginal language, and it means white man in a hole. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? It's hotter than I expected. On most days, it's around 120 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Luckily, it's much cooler indoors because we are staying in an underground cave house. The rooms are a bit small, but it's an incredible experience. At night, we play golf with balls that glow in the dark. See you in a couple of weeks, Anne. Dear Pete, greetings from Rio de Janeiro. It's a beautiful place, but it's much noisier and more crowded than Denver. There's so much to see and do here. Rio has the most famous carnival parade in the world, and trust me, it is fantastic. It also has one of the biggest soccer stadiums in the world, Maracanã. You won't believe the size of it. It can seat 95,000 people. Right now I'm relaxing on the beach. Are you jealous? Dave. Exercise 8, page 63. Welcome to the show. This is the speed round of the game. I will ask Mark to answer as many of these questions as possible. Mark, are you ready? Yes, Bill. I'm ready. Okay. Name the longest river in the world. The Nile. Yes. What is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific. Right. Name the coldest place on Earth. I don't know. Yakatia. What is the biggest desert? The Sahara. You're right. Name the oldest language in the world. Greek. No, it's Sanskrit. What is the wettest place in the world? Meisenram. Well done. Last question. What country has the largest population in the world? China. That is right, Mark. Well done. You answered eight out of the ten questions correctly. That means you will move on to the next round of World Knowledge. Unit 6B. Getting Around. Exercise 3. Page 64. Are you bold enough to race across the snow on a dog sled? Book now and get the chance to admire the beautiful Alaskan scenery. A dog sled ride in Alaska is an experience of a lifetime. Prices vary from $30 to $100 an hour. See how people lived in ancient China. Get in a rickshaw and go on a tour of the ancient city streets of Yanchen. You can ask the driver to stop anywhere you like if you want to take a look around. Prices are not too high. They range from 30 to 50 yen. There is nothing as romantic as a gondola serenade tour of Venice. The tour departs from Piazza San Marco and heads towards Castello. Your gondolier will sing traditional Italian songs as you travel up and down the canals and pass many famous landmarks. The tour lasts approximately 50 minutes. Prices start at 43 euros 50 cents per person. Visit www.viator.com to book a tour now. Exercise 6, page 65. Excuse me, can you tell me what platform the 615 to Boston leaves from? Certainly. It's platform 3. I think it's arriving on time, but you should check the departures board over there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you waiting, too? Yes, but don't worry. There'll be a cab along in a minute. Okay, thanks. Do you mind if I ask where you're going? 
Not at all. I'm going downtown. So am I. Would you like to share a cab? Yes, why not? It'll be cheaper. I'm not wearing my glasses. Can you please tell me the check in counter numbers for flight 6758 to Dallas? Certainly. It's counters 45 to 50. But I would hurry up if I were you because they have already made the boarding announcement for the flight. Oh, gosh. Thank you very much. Unit 6C Buildings. Exercise 1, page 66. Bank, castle, hut, factory, hostel, house, tent, bed and breakfast, office, igloo, museum, library. Mall, palace, store, restaurant, motel, department store, skyscraper. Exercise 2, page 66. Taipei 101 Mall. Taipei 101 Mall in Taiwan is one of the tallest buildings in the world. It is 1,670 feet tall and has 101 floors above ground and five underground. It is a modern steel and glass building, but it looks like a traditional Chinese tower. Inside, there are 61 elevators, including two fast elevators that take only 37 seconds to go from the fifth floor to the 89th. There are also offices, restaurants, stores, and nightclubs. There is even a library. At night, the tower lights up the city. The light has a different color of the rainbow for each day of the week. Taipei 101 is an amazing building. Exercise 5, page 66. The Sears Tower is in Chicago. It is a 1,450 foot tall glass and steel building. And it has 110 floors. Inside the building, there are offices, retail stores, a conference center, and even a fitness center. The Sears Tower is a very special building because it is very beautiful and it is the tallest building in North America. If you ever go to Chicago, it's definitely worth a visit. Unit 6D Culture Corner Landmarks Exercise 1, page 67. The Giant's Causeway is on the north coast of Northern Ireland in Antrim. It is made of 40,000 columns. It looks like a huge staircase leading into the ocean. Legend says that an Irish giant made it to cross the ocean and go to the Scottish coast. Loch Ness is the largest freshwater lake in the British Isles. It is in the highlands of Scotland. People say the Loch Ness monster lives in the lake.
Conwy Castle is one of the most impressive castles in the UK. It is part of the walled town of Conwy that Edward I built in the 13th century. He built it to keep the Welsh people in Wales and out of England. Stonehenge is an ancient stone circle in Wiltshire, England. It is probably the most famous landmark in the country. It dates from 3100 BC. It took about 30 million hours of hard work to build it. Unit 6E. Back from vacation. Exercise 1. Page 68. Where did you go? How was your vacation? Did you take a lot of pictures? What was the weather like? Where did you stay? Exercise 2, page 68. Hi, Bill. Good to see you. How was your vacation? It was fantastic. I had a wonderful time. Where did you go? I went to Mallorca. Wow. Where did you stay? At a five-star hotel by the beach. Lucky you. What was the weather like? Fantastic. We spent the entire day on the beach. Then in the evenings, we went dancing. Did you take a lot of pictures? Yes. Would you like to see them? I'd love to. I'll drop by this afternoon. Okay, see you later. Exercise 6, page 68. Fantastic! Lucky you! Awesome! Great! Wow! Amazing! Unit 6F Cross-Curricular Cut Geography Exercise 2, page 69 The Inuit. Where are the Inuit? The Inuit people live in the Arctic in Canada, Alaska, and Russia. The word Inuit means the real people. A century ago, the Inuit lived very differently than they do today. Inuit homes. In the winter, the Inuit lived in igloos. They used blocks of ice to build these round houses. They lit their igloos with an oil lamp called kudluk. In the summer, when the snow melted, they made tents of animal skins. Getting around. The Inuit traveled from one place to another on dog sleds. They also had small boats called kayaks to hunt and larger boats called umiak to transport people and food.